channel today is day five and the final day of my back to school series I hope you guys have been enjoying it so far and if you've missed any of my previous videos I will link the playlist down below in the description box so in this back to school series I shared some breakfast ideas that were quick and super tasty that were not your typical scrambled eggs and pancakes so today I'll be sharing with you some lunch ideas that definitely step out of the sandwich comfort zone last year my daughter was so tired of eating sandwiches that she'll come back from school with a full lunch box so when we started asking her well what do you want to eat at school she started requesting like home-cooked meals things that she'll have for dinner or maybe even on the weekends for lunch I was always so worried about it getting cold once she got to school but let me tell you thermals are game changers her food will stay warm and she'll actually come back home saying how much she really enjoyed lunch so today I'll be sharing with you some of Mia's favorite lunches that she raves about I hope you guys enjoy this video but what makes this video so special is that it is a collab with another awesome mom here on YouTube her name is Jillian and I've actually been subscribed to her ever since I started YouTube she does a lot of reviews hauls cleaning videos and just motherhood in general she's compiling a week worth of lunch ideas so today you guys are gonna get double the ideas after you've seen my video I want you to head on over to Jillian's channel check her back to school lunch ideas and let her know that you're coming over from my channel if you're coming over from Jillian's channel I would love to welcome you to the mom life balance please consider subscribing and I hope you guys all enjoy this video don't forget to hit that post notification bell so you get notified every single time I post a new video if you guys enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up and if you have any other lunch suggestions please drop it in the comments down below because I'm always looking for new ideas for Mia and just as an FYI Mia hasn't started school yet so her lunch wasn't packaged into any containers literally every single day that I would make lunch I would just bring out the camera and film so it's not packaged in any sort of container so anyways I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you all in my next one bye guys so the first dish that we're going to start off with is some mac and cheese but this is not your ordinary mac and cheese because this actually has some cauliflower pasta in it and when I found this at my grocery store I was so excited because this is such a great way to sneak in some veggies into your kids lunch without them even noticing. I'm telling you my kids couldn't even tell a difference when they were eating this. So I'm going to cook the pasta for about six to seven minutes until that's finished and I'm going to drain all that water and then add the little extras. My daughter loves it when I make it like this. So here I'm adding a little bit of butter, some cream cheese, the cheese from the package and also some shredded cheese as well. In order for the mac and cheese to have a creamy consistency, I'm going to add a splash of milk and give that all a good mix. To this dish, I also added some peas as a side and then I sliced an apple and put that in as well. By the end, this dish looks so good that I myself wanted to have some mac and cheese. And like I said, the kids don't even taste the cauliflower in it. So I don't know about your kids, but my daughter loves Lunchables. So I decided to make some homemade Lunchable. It's a little bit of a healthier alternative than the one from the store. So what you'll need is some shredded cheese, some non-dippers. This I found next to the hummus at my grocery store and then some marinara sauce. I'm going to heat up the naan bread in the oven for just a few minutes and then if your child was actually taking this to school, I would actually wrap the naan bread in foil paper and put that inside the thermal so it can stay warm. So in these little containers, I'm going to put some marinara sauce on one and then on the other I'll put some shredded cheese just like a Lunchable. For sides, I'm going to add some pretzel sticks. These are honey wheat and I picked them up at Trader Joe's and half of a chocolate crepe. By this time, my naan bread was already warmed up and it was ready to eat. And my daughter loves this lunch because it's as if you're eating a pizza lunchable, but it even tastes better, she tells me. What's also so funny is that my daughter always tells me that she's the cool kid in the lunch table every time she brings one of these pizza lunchables. This next lunch idea is a super cheesy quesadilla and let me tell you this is definitely our go-to when we have no time in the morning just because it's so simple to assemble. All you really need is some tortilla and some cheese. So I'm going to warm up my pan and put my tortilla in. Also I'm going to add the cheese already making sure that I spread the cheese well enough to the side so that everything can have some cheese on it. And then I'm going to close the lid and kind of have the cheese melt a little bit but not fully. And then I'm going to close my tortilla and then flip it in half, put the lid back on until everything melts completely. 
I usually slice my tortilla into four pieces and then again if your child was taking this for lunch to school I like to wrap it in foil paper and put it in the thermal and this stays pretty warm until her lunch time and then as sides for this dish I'm adding some sweet white corn and these little squisher yogurts from Trader Joe's they're super good and there you have it some super cheesy quesadillas that are going to be a hit with your kid so for this next idea, I have some cheeseburger sliders that I will be making. I already had some turkey patties seasoned from the night before because we did have some turkey burgers for dinner last night. So I separated two and then I'm going to put that in the pan and cook them as normal until they're well done. I'm going to add some cheddar cheese on top and wait till that melts. As buns, I will be using Hawaiian rolls because my daughter loves these. And then as a side, I'm going to be using these cinnamon apple sticks. They taste so good. These are from Trader Joe's. I want to say they taste like the ones from Taco Bell, um, the cinnamon twist ones. They taste so similar, but this is a healthier alternative. And then I'm going to place my burgers onto the bread. And there you have it, some delicious cheeseburgers that are just so mouthwatering. This next dish is super tasty and fun as well. I was able to find these alphabet pastas at my grocery store. They're like little mini letters. They're just so cute. So to this, you're going to need some pasta. It doesn't need to be the alphabet one. It could be any pasta and some pesto sauce. So I'm going to cook my pasta for about six minutes. I'm going to drain the water, add that back into my pot and add some pesto sauce. I'm going to give that all a really good mix and that's it. My pasta is completely done. This is another one of those meals that it's a go-to in my house because it's just so quick to make. And then as a side, I wanted to add like a little garlic roll. So to a Hawaiian roll, I'm going to add some garlic and herb butter into it. And then to break up all the garlic in their palate after dinner, I did add a little bit of chocolate chip cookies from Trader Joe's. This last dish are some homemade chicken nuggets. We all know how much our kids love McDonald's, but it's not the healthiest. So I'm making my own chicken nuggets at home. I'm going to be whisking one egg to soak the chicken in, and then I'm going to pour some flour into a plate. This is actually whole wheat flour that I got for a recipe one time, and it turns out I love it so much better than regular flour. To the flour, I also added a little bit of seasoning to give it some flavor. So I'm just going to be breading my chicken like normal and then putting it into a pan full of hot oil. Because I cut up my chicken so small, it probably took about seven or eight minutes to cook in total, so it wasn't very long at all. But after my chicken has been fully cooked, I'm going to drain the chicken onto a paper towel just so that I can collect all of the excess oils. My daughter loves to eat her chicken nuggets with honey sauce, so I am going to add some honey to this. And then as sides, I'm going to add some more of that honey wheat pretzel sticks and half of this chocolate brownie bar from Cliff. My kids actually ended up loving these little Cliff bars. I thought they weren't because they're a little picky with granola bars, but these were great. All right, you guys, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video and got some great ideas. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.